hello guys and today i'm going to show you how to uh, activate and or deactivate any game object with button so i'm going to go to game object and create a new button if i can find and double click on the button and i'm not gonna do anything fancy because i don't want to waste your time so this is button i'm just gonna larger the text so we can see it okay here's the button so i'm going to create a empty game object which is here we can't see it because it's empty there's nothing in it and i'm going to give it name one and i'm going to duplicate it Control d or command d2 and save the scene and then in button we don't need any sort of script to activate or deactivate any game object with the new ui uh, unity ui system so when to activate or deactivate just go to button and and you will see an on click uh, button component and so you will find a button component and in that button component you will find an on click event system so the list is empty right now if you want to add like we just click on the plus sign to add on click event so to activate or deactivate any game object what we do we just grab uh, drop uh, drag that game object and drop into the on click and to activate what we do we go to the non function no function and game object we just select act, set active to bool so if we click if we set this to true that means we will uh, it's going to activate the game object and if we set this to false that means it's not going to activate that game object so far so this is active right now so on click button we will deactivate this game object so and so for two i'm going to deactivate this game object and create another on click event and place my two in it and i'm going to activate the game object so when you can see when it's not active it's 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 like gray like it's not gray but it's like uh, you can feel the difference between those two so if we hit play and click on the button you can see the two is now active and one is deactive and if we go and now again one is active and two is not active and now two is active one is not so this is how we activate and or deactivate any game object with button so thanks guys for watching i will see you in next video